Welcome back to Tech Tutorial Expert. Your one and only platform for comprehensive setup guide and troubleshooting setup issue. If you're in trouble then come in our channel you find the great and informative videos. In this video, we'll guide you through the simple setup of the Netgear EX6170 Wi-Fi extender. Whether you're using the WPS method for a quick connection or the manual method via a web browser, will cover both in easy to follow steps. Boost your Wi-Fi signal and eliminate dead zones in just minutes. Follow along as we walk you through each step, ensuring your extender is placed for optimal performance. Perfect for anyone looking to expand their home or office network without the hassle. Firstly we start with the unboxing giving you the cleanest review of the product that what comes in the packet. Inside the Netgear EX6170 box, you'll find the Wi-Fi range extender unit itself, a quick start guide for easy installation, and a warranty slash support card. The extender is designed to plug directly into a power outlet, so no additional cables or accessories are included. Everything is streamlined for a quick and simple setup process. So let's start the manual setup method. The manual method is a way to set up devices by entering settings yourself instead of using automated options. For the Netgear EX6170, it involves connecting to the extender's Wi-Fi, opening a web browser, and following on-screen instructions to select and connect to your existing Wi-Fi network. First of all plug the EX6170 into a power outlet halfway between your router and the area with weak Wi-Fi signal. Ensure it's within your router's range. Now take an electronics device like computer, tablet, mobile phone etc. On your computer or mobile device, connect to the extender's default Wi-Fi network, usually named Netgear underscore EXT. Now open a web browser according to your choice. Enter http colon slash slash www.mywifixt.net in your browser's address bar to access the setup page. You may need to create an account if it's your first time. Follow the on-screen instructions to select your existing Wi-Fi network, enter your Wi-Fi password, and complete the setup. The extender will boost your network using the same password. After setup, move the extender to its optimal location for best coverage. Ensure the indicator lights show a strong connection. That should complete your Netgear EX6170 manual setup. So let's move on the next setup method that is WPS push button method. The WPS method is a quick and easy way to connect devices without entering a password. For the Netgear EX6170, you simply press the WPS button on both the extender and your router, and they automatically connect to extend your Wi-Fi network. With the help of this method you can set up your extender within a couple of minutes. Firstly find a power outlet near your router and plug in the Netgear EX6170. Wait for the power LED on the extender to turn solid green, which indicates that the extender is powered on and ready for setup. On the side or front of the extender, you'll find a button labeled WPS, Wi-Fi Protected Setup. This button initiates the WPS connection process which pairs the extender with your router without needing a password. Press the WPS button on your extender. The WPS LED will begin blinking, indicating that the extender is searching for a WPS-enabled router. Within two minutes of pressing the extender's WPS button, press the WPS button on your router. The WPS button is usually located on the front or side of your router, but refer to your router's manual if you're unsure of its location. Once the extender and router communicate, the WPS LED on the extender will turn solid green, confirming a successful connection to the 2.4 GHz band of your Wi-Fi network. Relocate the extender to a better location, 
halfway between your router and the area with weak Wi-Fi. Ensure the LED remains green to confirm a strong signal.